everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today i'm going to show you how i made this beautiful sorrel fruit cake when i tell you this was so good it was moist it was flavorful this was just absolutely delicious so here i have some sorrel petals the darker and the lighter shade but feel free to use any kind you have dried sorrel works just as fine so over here i have a pot with about two cups of water along with some ginger and cinnamon for flavor now i'm going to brew the sorrel petals to extract that beautiful color and to soften it up a bit now in with a bit of sugar to balance out the flavors because sorrel tends to have that tangy sour taste now i'm going to bring this to a slight simmer which is going to take about two minutes then i'm going to cover and i'm going to allow to cool so after about an hour this have cooled down nicely the color is just beautiful now i'm going to puree this and you want to blend this as smooth as you can just as not to get that trashy petals in your cake The color is rich and beautiful i'm going to pour this into a bowl so now that we have this flavorful sorrel puree which is about two cups now in with one cup of blended fruits so this is going to be a sorrel fruit cake a link on how i soak my fruits will be listed down below in the description box now i'm going to give this a nice mix and i'm going to put this aside so now for this sorrel cake i'm using two sticks of butter which is half a pound and one cup of sugar so this is a half a pound cake recipe which is going to give me two small cakes or a very large cake feel free to double up on the ingredients for more cakes so now i'm going to cream the butter and the sugar until it's light and fluffy scraping the bowl as i go along So now that the sugar and butter is nice and fluffy, I'm going to add one tablespoon of lime zest to four eggs, which not only gives the cake a nice flavor, but it cuts the eggy raw smell. Now I'm going to pour this gradually into the butter mixture until it's nicely combined. And now for the star of the show, which is a sorrel and fruit puree, which is smelling really good. Now I'm going to add this to the butter mixture, giving it a nice mix. And even though you are seeing that beautiful dark red color that came from the sorrel, it would not be enough to give the cake that rich, vibrant red color. So here is where you're going to add a bit of red food coloring, just to enhance its color. But this step is very optional you could also add a bit of beetroot powder now i'm gonna flavor this up with some vanilla essence along with some almond and rose water a full ingredient amount will be listed down below in the description box right so now for the dry ingredients in with two cups of flour salt baking powder some cinnamon powder some mixed cake spice and some freshly grated nutmeg i'm going to give this a nice mix then i'm going to sift this into the cake batter then i'm going to cut and fold until the butter is nice and smooth So now that we have this beautiful butter, which is already tasting good, I'm going to place a water bath at the bottom of the oven to regulate the oven temperature. Then I'm going to pour these into baking pans that was already greased and lined with paper. I'm going to level them perfectly into the pan and to a preheated oven, I'm going to allow these to bake for about one and a half to two hours or until a toothpick comes out clean. So while the cakes are in the oven, I'm going to create a nice portion that I'm going to use to feed the cakes when they are done. Starting with a bit of the brew from the sorrel along with some rum and wine. So about one and a half hours later, these cakes are done at this time. They are light and fluffy, more like a fruity sponge cake. Soaking them down is what gives them that density and moisture. Yes. Now I'm going to allow these to sit and cool down thoroughly before cutting into them. And there you have it. My perfect recipe of sorrel 
fruit cake when i tell you these were good they were moist not to mention flavorful the texture was just perfect i want to thank you so very much for watching and remember if you like this video please do not leave without clicking the like button